Today we shall see implementation of primary and foreign key. I'll create a database. Before that, let me tell you, using this command prompt or else PHP MyAdmin, we can accomplish the same task. For this video, I'll be using PHP MyAdmin. I created a web database called info. Now instead of using this command prompt, I'll be using my PHP MyAdmin interface here. These queries do the same things irrespective of where you run it, whether in command prompt or else in this interface. So here I'm creating a table called student. Student ID is an integer. It's not null and an auto increment. Name is varchar not null. I'm making this student ID as primary key. Since primary keys are not null by default, I'll remove this. Just hit the go button below. And the database table is created. To indicate the primary key, it has been underlined here. Okay, I'll create another table. and call it enroll I'll take roll number I'll make it auto increment 2 and student ID let us make student ID a primary key which references to student table so primary key is roll number foreign key is student ID that is enroll table references to the table student and the field student ID we could execute the same query on command prompt 2 as I told before okay so roll number is primary key stud underscore ID is the foreign key now let's insert some values inside it inside student table since student ID is auto increment we could remove it that is we need not give its value explicitly okay student id is one name age now let me enter insert some values inside enroll table and note that foreign key in one table points to the primary key in another table so you can't you can't insert something into the foreign key table which is not already present in the primary key column of the referencing table so let's look at what i said just now in enroll table stdud underscore id references to the student table which doesn't have a st student id of two so it throws some errors cannot add or update a child row instead if you give one it takes any other number it doesn't take it just throws some error one it takes because student id one is present inside student table let's insert one more record inside student table also note that we can have only one primary key in any given table but we can have zero or more foreign keys inside it Now we have student ID of 1 and 2. Let's go to enroll table and try to insert something. Now note that it takes only 1 and 2 because student table has only 2 student IDs that is 1 and 2. Other than those values it doesn't take.
now deleting the primary keys if there is some records referencing to this primary key you you can't delete the row you can't delete that row before deleting that row delete everything which references to that primary key now the foreign key entry for the student id 2 has been removed now delete the primary key and it successfully gets deleted so does that mean you can you can never delete primary key without deleting the foreign keys yeah that's right but we can have some queries wherein we can cascade that is we can delete the foreign key references and then delete the primary key using a single query we'll see that query in the next video please share this video on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc like this video on youtube please subscribe to our youtube channel and to our blog technotip.com thanks for watching